Men volcanoes. And we'll start with Bear Bahut. Bear Bahut is an active but almost unknown volcano in eastern Yemen near the Gulf of Aden. Old documents tell of volcanic activity in the 10th century, and it was reported to have been still smoking in 1813. I don't know if we have a view here, but we can see if we do. And we do not, so we'll be moving on to the next one. The next one is Hainish. And Hainish is a shield volcano. Hainish forms a group of islands in the Red Sea between Antria and Yemen. These include the 20 kilometer long Great Hainish, Little Hainish, and many other small islands and submarine shoals. The volcano contains a number of volcanic vents aligned northeast to southwest and consists of lava shields and cinder cones. Eruptions on the Hainish Islands often start with predic explosions that open new vents, then enter phrases with lava fountains building up cinder cones, and then continue and end with a fusion of fluid lava flows. The islands of the Greater Hainish Archipelago and the Red Sea were disputed with fighting between Entria and Yemen in December of 1995. In 1998, the permanent court of arbitration determined that most of the archipelago belonged to Yemen. So this is kind of interesting. So let's um, back up. Sometimes we have views and a lot of times over in these areas we don't have as many. So moving on to the next one, which is Hera es Sawad. Hera es Sawad is a tracheal basalt basaltic volcanic field that runs along the Gulf of Aden near the city of Shugra. The field stretches for around 100 kilometers that runs along the Gulf of Aden. The field contains around 100 volcanic cones. The field is oriented on a west-southwest, east-northeast line. This has produced a 40 by 95 kilometer lava field. This field is mostly Holocene in age and covers faulted bas basement limestone. Many of the field's cones are young and uneroded. The only eruption that has been noted in historical times occurred in 1253. This eruption was a large VEI-3 eruption, although it was poorly documented. So this is this area. I don't know if there's anything over in here. But it is neat to look at. Our next one is Hera of Arab. Hara of Arab is the mainly quaternary volcanic field of Hara or Harab. It is the northernmost historical active volcanic field in Yemen. It has erupted once historically in pre Islamic times. The plateau contains a few small stratovolcanoes and 60 volcanic cones. And you can see some of these over here. And I don't know, we might have a view in this area because we have roads here. So let's back out a little bit and we're going to look. And we may not. <laughs> Note, a lot of the Islamic countries do not seem to have roads. They have roads, but they don't seem to have views. So nope. And moving on to the next one. Hara of Balhaf.
Pahara of Balhaf is a volcanic field of Balhaf volcano. It is a small volcanic field about 100 kilometers southwest of the city of Al Makoli in southern Yemen, along the coast of the Gulf of Aden. At least one basaltic lava flow is probably of historical age. The At Tabab tough cone rises from the shoreline and forms the highest point of the volcanic field. It contains a large 1.5 wide crater inside which a cinder cone and associated lava flows are located. Another tough cone to the east contains a lake. So we're going to look and see if we have any views of this area. And we don't have any. Oh no. Okay, so we don't have any here either. Do we have any at all? Hang on. None. Oh, we have one over here. Well, me, I don't know what we can see over here, but we're going to go look anyway. Just because. We have a road over this way. Maybe we can see something that way. Nope. We see a road, though. Looks like the beach. Maybe that's a beach. Yep, that's a beach. I can't see much that way at all. It'd be nice. Wonder if that's one there. Nope. Okay, and moving on to the next one Horus of Damar. And this is just a volcanic field in um, Yemen. I haven't found a whole lot more information on it. But we can see here that we have a steam bath over in this area. And uh, some mosque over here. Let's see if we have any view in this area at all. And we don't appear to have any. Our next one is Jabal El Marha. Jabal El Marha volcano is an isolated 250 meter high tough cone. 11 kilometers south of the capital of Sana'a in Yemen. Little is known about this small volcano. So there's not a whole lot known about it. And you can see it looks like it may have been a volcanic field. Let's see where it's gone out. Let's see if we have any views over here. And we don't appear to have any here either. And our next one is Jabal Hammam Dirt. Jabal Hammam Dirt. Okay. And this is just information as far as a volcanic field. There is nothing else that I could find on it other than this as its listing. Our next one is Jabal Highland. Jabal Highland volcano is a 75 kilometer long chain of volcanic vents, cinder cones, and lava flows located about 70 kilometers east of Yemen's capital, Sana'a. Sana 
The latest eruption from Jabal Highland must have occurred less than 3,000 years ago. And this is the information I have for this area. Our next one is Jabal at Ter. And this is a volcanic island, which is circular. Our next one is Jebel Zuber. Jebel Zuber is a group of 10 major volcanic islands on top of an underlying shield volcano in the Red Sea. So you can see the smaller islands are over this way. And these are all volcanic islands here. Moving on to our last one is Zucker. Or stated as Zucker. Zucker volcano is located in the Red Sea between Yemen and Eritrea. Eritrea. The ownership of the island was in dispute until 1996 when a permanent court of arbitration in The Hague awarded it to Yemen. The volcano is located in an area Hang on a second. The volcano is located in an area of the Red Sea where crustal spreading is slowed slower than the further north. Zucker Island is surrounded by shallow water. Anyways, you guys, this has been my video update for volcanoes in Yemen. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please share and like. Thank you and have a good day.